Born in Abiding Faith Christian Church. Thank you for joining our Sunday morning, morning worship service. We're so grateful to be in the land of the living. We're so grateful to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Go ahead and just glorify God right now wherever you are. Go ahead and thank God for being here, being in your right mind. Go ahead and just give a, God a, a great big yes this morning in the name of Jesus. Go ahead and just lift up your hands and worship his name. For he has been great to us and he has been great and greatly to be praised. Amen. God, we just want to thank you this morning. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Hallelujah.
to be with you this morning and we do say yes to the Lord and we believe in him to bring us through every circumstance and situation that we may be facing right now. I want to introduce myself. I'm Reverend Patricia Stubbs. I'm the assistant pastor of the Abiding Faith Church and I'm so glad to be able to share with you today. I'm giving honor to God and also to my pastor Reverend John S. Cord for this opportunity to share with you the word of God. And I pray that it will be a blessing to you and that you will prosper from the word because the word is able to transform and the word is able to make the difference for you. So yes, say yes to the Lord because he's the one that can see you through all things. If you would just pray with me. Lord, I just thank you. I thank you for this brand new day. I thank you for your brand new mercies, O oh Lord. I thank you for the things that you will do this day through your word, O oh God. I pray that you open the hearts of your people to be receptive to that which you shall speak, O oh God, that you would be that deliverer, that you would be that person to bring the breakthrough, the change that they need on the inside, that healing, O oh Father. Have your way. Let your anointing right now, Lord, and your spirit go forth to be a blessing among your people, O oh God, as they hear your voice, as they hear the word, God, I pray that you prosper right now in the name of Jesus. We cancel the enemy. We cancel every demonic force that would try to distract your people from receiving today. And I pray, Lord, that you would bless us indeed in the name of Jesus. Amen. And my topic today, and you can say this with me, you can say, my God is more than enough. He's able. One more time, my God is more than enough. He's able. I know during this time of COVID-19 and through so many changes, all of us as individuals may be going through different things. But I want you to know that you have someone that is able to see you through everything that you're going through, that you are not alone. He is much more than enough to bring you through every situation and every circumstance that you're dealing with, whether it's financial, 
whether it's something in your home, whether it's spiritual, whatever it is, whether it's a health issue, God is able. He's much more than enough. And I just want to share with my youth today, I know sometimes in your homes you may think, oh man, I'm under so much pressure, I have to do this because this is what my parents are saying. And sometimes you feel like, man, I really want to be independent. But I want you to understand, you may think that the grass is greener on the other side. But always remember, the grass is green where you water it. So whatever situation you're going through right now, whatever you might be dealing with in your homes, God is able to see you through those situations. But you got to use what you have to make the right decisions so that you can prosper, so you can produce right where you are, not where you think I want to be two years from now. I can't wait till I'm 18. Regardless of that, I want you to utilize the time you have right now See God's face. You're not too young to serve him and allow God to move in your situation. If you can't believe God that he can do anything, why believe that he can do anything at all? I want your faith to arise today. I want you to believe in God. It was an old song that says, ask the Savior to help you comfort, strengthen, and keep you. He is willing to aid you. He will carry you through. So I'm letting you know that God is able, that he can see you through every circumstance and situation. For my God is much more than enough. So I want you to go with me to a scripture this morning um, in Ephesians, the third chapter, verses 20 through 21. And if you have your electronic devices or you have your Bible, you can just follow me. I'm going to be reading from the Amplified um, Version first. And it says, Now to him who is able to carry out his purpose to do superabundantly above more than all that we can dare ask or think, infinitely beyond our greatest prayers, hopes, and dreams according to his power that is at work within us. To him be the glory in the church and in Jesus Christ throughout all generations forever and ever. Amen. Because it doesn't matter what your age is. God says through every generation I'm able to bless. I'm still the God of much more than enough. I'm still the God who is able to see you through every circumstance that you go through. And sometimes it's hard for us to see that when we're going through situations in the present. So sometimes it's best for you to just look out at nature, see the atmosphere, see the sky, see the moon. You have no control when the sun rises. You have no control when the moon comes up at night. But guess what? God takes care of that for us. You have no control over the trees being watered at night or during the day, but God does. And even when you think about your body, understand the blessing and how amazing God is. He produces our heart enough to raise at least three tons of steel off of the ground. That's how strong our heart is. To know that even when you smile, it takes 17 muscles in your face to smile. God thought about all of that. The human eye can distinguish between a million different colors. No camera can do that, but God can do that. We can touch something and it travels through the nerves of our brains at the speed of 124 miles an hour. We serve an awesome God. And I want you to know today that he's able to see you through anything that you're dealing with. So let's go through some different um, words that were in that scripture, Ephesians um, 3. And it talked about how God was exceedingly abundantly. Exceeding means a great extent, extraordinary, exceptional, 
beyond the usual. So your God is able to go beyond the usual, beyond what you may see presently, beyond what you've ever seen. He said, I can do above that. I'm much more than enough. And then the word abundantly means great, plenty, overflowing in quantity. God is letting us know through that particular scripture that he's more than enough to deal with any of our circumstances and situations that we may be going through at our present time. Charles Spurgeon said it this way, when you stand before men, ask little and expect less. But when you stand before God, ask much and expect more and believe that he is able to do for you more exceedingly abundantly above what you can ask or think. God made us a promise that he can go beyond your dreams, beyond your imaginations, beyond what your thoughts may be. Our thoughts impact us differently because sometimes we are down, sometimes we're up, but remember, God impacts even those thoughts. And he says, you are able to dream, you're able to imagine, and guess what? I can go above that which you even ask or think. God is able to perceive what we have in our minds. And he says, beyond your wildest imaginations, I can come through for you. And the example that I think about is Abraham. He saw himself as a father of that one child that he wanted so bad, but God saw him as a father of nations. And God is seeing you today beyond where you see yourself, that there is great potential in you. There's so much more that God wants to do for you, and all you have to do is ask and believe him to do that far more better than anybody else can do it. Now, in Ephesians, that same First, I'm just going to read it from the Message Bible, Ephesians 3, verses 20 through 21. And it says, God can do anything you know far more than you can ever imagine or guess or request in your wildest dreams. He does it not by pushing us around, but by working within us, his spirit deeply and gently within us. That's how God moves in you. He's not going to push you or you say, God forced me to do that. That's not the kind of God we serve. But he says, what are you imagining today? What are you dreaming about today? What are you wishing for? Or are you so uh, dependent on what's going on in the present that you're missing what God can do for you beyond this? Because COVID it's not going to last always. God says there will be seasons and things will change. So we're not locked in this particular season. But God says, while you're in the season, what are you imagining God to do? What is your wildest dreams? What are some things that you would desire God to do for you? Because my God will, he didn't say maybe, possibility. But he said, my God will supply just a little bit of your needs, just when you need it. He said, I will supply all your needs according to my riches that are in glory. So don't under, underestimate the God that you serve. Matthew 19, 26, 19th chapter, verse 26 from the New Living Translation says, Jesus looked upon them intently and said, humanly speaking, it is impossible, but with God, everything is impossible. With man, may not happen, but with the God that you serve, he said, all things are possible with God. So I want to encourage you, no matter what you're going through right now, no matter if things seem hopeless, no matter if it seems like, God, I can't make it through this situation, I want to encourage you to hold on to the Lord. Your God is much more than enough. He is able. 
Ecclesiastes 3.11 says, he makes everything beautiful in his timing. May not look like it's really pretty right now. May not look like things are going the way that you want it to go. But God says, I can make everything beautiful in my time. And just want to share uh, uh, one of the characters in the word of God. Just going to share briefly about this story. Um, because it came to mind when I was thinking about him being much more than enough. And it's from Second Chronicles, 25th chapter. And the verses, you know, just some parts of the chapter I'm going to review. Um, but this is about Am Amaziah. He was 25 years old. I don't know how many 25-year-olds I got out there. But Amaziah was 25 years old when he became king. Now, you know, that's a lot of responsibility for someone that's 25. And the scriptures say he reigned in Jerusalem. I'm reading the first, first verse from the 25th chapter. It says that he reigned in Jerusalem 29 years. Okay? But verse 2 says Amaziah did what was pleasing in God's sight but he did not do it wholeheartedly unto the Lord. That's what two says. So they're getting ready to go to battle. And five, in verse five, it says that Amaziah organized an army, assigning generals and captains, and he took a census, and he found out how many tr men were in the troops, and he had money that he paid to individuals in order to help them to fight against his enemies. And then verse 7 says, the man of God came to him and said, your majesty, do not hire troops from Israel, for the Lord is not with Israel. He will not help those people of Ephraim. And 8 says, if you let them go with your troops into battle, you will be defeated by the enemy no matter how well you fight. Because God will overthrow throw you, for he has the power to help you, or he has the power to trip you up. So Amaziah talks to the man of God, and he says in the ninth um, verse, he said, but what about all this silver that I paid out to hire these men? And the man of God replied to him, the Lord is able to give you much more than this. And sometimes we depend on what we have and how much money we might have. And, oh, I don't have the finances to do this. I don't have the ability to do this. But I'm telling you, you serve a God that can do much more than this. It doesn't depend on your money. It doesn't depend on how much favor you got. It doesn't depend on that. But it depends on your source, which should be God. And when you put your trust in him, he said, I can give you much more than this. So Amaziah did not go with the men, but he did go to battle anyway. And it talks about that in the 14th verse. And it says, when he returned from slaughtering the Edomites, he bought with him idols taken from the people of Seir. And he set them up as his own gods, bowed down in front of them, and even offered sacrifices unto them. The Lord was very, very upset with him because God had already told him, I'm the God that has much more than enough, but he's still going and depending on these other gods. And the, pro the, and the God sent the prophets to him to ask him, why do you turn to gods who could not even save their own people from you? Why are you going to serve something that can't even help somebody else make it through? So you may say, oh, people got millions of dollars going to make it. You don't know that because it takes more than money to get through this that we're going through now. It's going to take more than your favor or influence. It's going to take more. It's going to take God. And God says, I have much more than enough. And at the end of the story, it shares how Amaziah lost his life. He was depending in, on idols. He was depending on something that could not bring him through. And because of that, he lost his life. 
So if you're depending on something else other than God, I want to encourage you today to get involved with God. If you haven't given your life to the Lord, this is your opportunity. He's able to give you much more than enough. All you have to do is repent and ask him to come into your life. God is able to give you much more than this. God's plans for you are greater and much more beautiful than your disappointments. Whatever you've gone through, where you've fallen, where you've come short, where you think that I failed, God's plans for you are greater than that, greater than your disappointments. Uh, Surin Lamb said this, hang on to his promises when the odds are stacked against you. It requires faith. Faith doesn't make things easier, but faith makes things possible. So it's not that you won't go through issues. It's not that things won't come up in your life. We're not saying that. But if you can walk by faith and not by sight, God says, I can make all things possible for you. Not that you won't go through the issues, but God will be there with you. There may be times in your life when you feel like you do want to quit, when you feel that things are too hard, but you need to know that God is always there with you. And he's encouraging you today that he is more than enough and he's able to see you through every issue. I'm certain of it because his word says it and he won't speak anything in his word that he won't do. During COVID, believe God for rain in the midst of your drought or your dry places in your life, because he's 100% able and faithful. Live beyond your limitations by putting your trust in God. Jeremiah 32 verse 17 says, the Lord made heaven and earth by his great power and stretched out hand. And there is nothing too hard for God. There is nothing too hard for God. I want you to hold on to those words today. I want you to believe God for the things that you're in need of. I want you to know that God, that he is able and so you say, how do we know that God is able and he can do all these things for, for us? Well, we're going to go back to Ephesians, the third chapter, verses 17 through 19. And I'm going to read the, the Living Bible translation. But read what, whichever version that you might have to let you know that you are important to God and that he can see you through. And I pray that Christ be more and more at home in your hearts, living within you as you trust in him. May your roots go down deep into the soil of God's marvelous love. He loves us. He loves us. And may, 18 and 19 says, and may he be able to feel and understand, as all God's children should, how long, how wide, how deep and how high his love really is and to experience this love for yourselves. Though, though it's so great that we'll never see the end of the love, but his love can fill us up and make the difference. You're never alone. Believe to see his goodness right here in the land of the living. Dream big and expect more. I'm going to say that again. Dream big and expect more because he's much more than enough for you. You can't outdream God. He said, I can go above your imagination, your wildest imaginations, things that you say, oh, could that happen? God said, I can, I can go beyond that. But you have to ask him. So whatever that dream is in your heart today, it's just a fraction of what God can do through you because he's the God of much more than enough. 
We serve a limitless God with limitless power and limitless ability. That's who you serve today. So remember, he is in all things. And if we allow God to be the center of our lives, he's going to help you to make it through. He's going to help you to, to change and to be that vessel that he wants you to be. If you don't have God in your life today, if you're wondering, what can I do to get out of the state that I'm in? Maybe you're dealing with depression. Maybe you're dealing with suicidal thoughts or ideation. Maybe you're wrapped in pain in your body. Maybe you're dealing with habits or addictions that you think there is no breakthrough for you. But I'm telling you that God is much more than enough for you. And he's able to come through today. And if you believe with me today, God is going to break through those chains that the enemy tried to deceive you and make you believe that God couldn't do it. But God will do it for you today. So first we're going to ask those that want salvation, believe me, it's so easy. And when you do it, then you know God is on your side and he's moving for you. I want you just to pray with me. I want you to believe God, and we're going to believe him for you, for the things you need. Just say, Lord, I repent of my sins, and I ask you, Jesus, to come into my life right now. Fill me with your Holy Spirit and make me that vessel that you want me to be. Cancel the enemy and all the negative thoughts and ways that he would try to make me to believe in. But now I believe in you, God. I believe in your son, that he died on the cross for me. And I accept him in my life right now in the name of Jesus. And for those that are in need of healing, those that are in need of breakthrough, those that are in need of change right now, those that are dealing with habits and addictions, God is the God of breakthrough. God is the God that can deliver. God is the God that can change your situation. So I pray right now, I bind the enemy, I rebuke his will and his way. I rebuke every demonic force that may come against you right now. I cancel it in the name of Jesus. And I ask you, God, to move in the behalf of your people today. Lord, work in their circumstances, whatever it is. Let them see that you're a God of much more than enough and that there is nothing too hard or too impossible for you that you cannot do, that you cannot change, that you cannot turn. So open up the windows of heaven right now and turn towards your people in your favor and bless them, oh God. Cancel the enemy. Cancel the deceptive thoughts, Lord. Those that are dealing with suicidal thoughts, break it now in the name of Jesus. Those that are dealing with depression, break it now, Lord. Those that are in need of financial blessings, oh God, and things in their home, do it now, God. Show them, Lord. With man, it may not be possible, God. But I know with you, God, all things are possible. And I just want you to tell God, I receive it. I receive it right now. Every blessing, every breakthrough, every change, every habit, break it now, Lord. Every addiction, drugs, I break it now in the name of Jesus. Everything that's not like you, Lord, move it out of the lives of your people as they trust and they depend on you. God is much more. He's much more than enough, saints. He's able. And he can make those dreams that you have to come true. Expect the great. Expect the great. Expect the great. Go ahead and believe. Go ahead and ask the Savior to help you. And he will see you through. We thank God today. I pray that the word was a blessing to you. I pray that you hold on to God. Don't let him go. If you don't have him, Get a hold of God. Don't allow the enemy to make you believe that there is no hope. There is hope in God. So I want you to trust and depend on him. And like we said, we're Abiding Faith Christian Church. If you would like to give today um, to the ministry, that's abidingfaithcc.org. You can go there and you can give to the work 
Uh, we thank you for being with us this morning. We're hoping that you continue to hold on to God, continue to ask him for those things that you need. Don't let this be the last time you ask God to work those things out for you, because remember, he's able. Amen.